Hey, what is going on, you Unraveled Urshifu? Today, we're taking a look at an old deck that got some buffs from the Astral Radiance release, not just in cards, but also in kind of the format shift. And speaking of Astral Radiance cards, if you guys need any, they're up and available over at FullGripGames.com. And actually, the code cards were just restocked over at FullGripCodes.com. So if you need cards or codes, uh, FullGripCodes.com and FullGripGames.com. So today's deck is going to be the Ice Rider. I'm not going to go too in-depth on the list, kind of just going to be talking about uh, some things I'm choosing not to include in this list, which I'm sure some of you already you noticing and then talking about the new additions and what they kind of bring to the deck so of course ice rider is a v max pokemon 320 hp and has two attacks ride of the high king uh, for colors colors we only play water energy in the deck but it does attack for colors colors this attack does 30 damage uh, or 10 damage plus 30 more for each of your opponent's bench pokemon and then max lands for water water 10 plus 120 for each energy we choose to discard up to two energy so we can hit for 250 damage with the max lance it's the main attacker and basically only attacker in the deck we're rocking the inteleon line here for the engine four sobble three drizzile uh, one inteleon with the shade dealings one inteleon with the quick shooting we've got a mana fee in here with the uh wave veil to protect our bench from the greninjas and we've got a crobat in here for some extra consistency through the dark acid ability and then for the new pokemon we have in here we have got the radiant halucha that allows our attacks to do 30 more damage to our opponent's active pokemon v max so if our opponent has something like an ice rider or a mu v max we can be hitting them a little bit harder those are like mainly the only two v maxes being played right now in the current format and the other pokemon we have in here is a basculin the hisuian basculin from the new astral radiant sets with gather the crew for zero energy, search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. And the reason I play this is because up against a lot of matchups, getting down to Calyrex V is super important. So instead of going with, you know, a quick ball to get a Calyrex V pass, and if our opponent went first, then going turn two, boss KO or Calyrex V, we can retreat our Sobble or our Manaphy or our Radiant Halucha or our Crobat V into, or scoop up net them into a Basculin and then use Gather the Crew for zero energy, get two Calyrex Vs in play. If we open a Calyrex V and then have a Quick Ball to go get a Calyrex V, that also works, but sometimes we don't, and that's how we get our two Calyrex Vs in play, so we don't just lose the game basically on the next turn when our opponent bosses up and knocks it out. Uh, Pokemon Search Cards, three Ultra Ball, four Quick Ball, four Level Ball, four Evolution Intense, so a ton of Pokemon Search Cards, just trying to make this deck really, really consistent. Basically, when I was playing Ice Rider, on the stream the other day, twitch.tv slash azulgg, trying out a bunch of different stuff, and I came to the conclusion the deck felt really inconsistent, and I was just like, well, what if I just knock out my opponents active every single turn and make the deck as consistent as possible, and it started working, and I started winning a lot of games. And then we have the Hisuian Heavy Ball in here as the last Pokemon search card. Really, on the turn one, we're just really just trying to get as many Pokemon in play as possible, as fast as possible, to have as many options on our following turn as possible. So we also have that one of Hasuyan Heavy Ball in here. For the energy, eight basic water and then three buckets. Really want to get off that turn one attachment to the Calyrex or, or retreat into Gather the Crew or attach and keep calling with the Sabo. So heavy on the energy. One tool scrapper in here to remove our opponent's big charms. So our, our max lances can do 250 or 280 with a choice belt. And that KOs pretty much any V-Star Pokemon in the format right now. But if you combo the choice belt with the Halucha, we're doing 310, which actually KOs Mew VMAX if they don't have Oracorio in play, or does 310 to a, a Calyrex VMAX. So if we get a quick shooting involved, then all of a sudden we're KOing Mew VMAX even if they have Oracorio or KOing other Ice Riders. And if they have Fusion Strike Energy on their Mew VMAXs, we do play two Temple of Sinnoh in here that turns off all the effects of special energy cards. So we'll turn off the effect of the Fusion, Fusion Strike Energy, quick shooting it, Bench Halucha, attach the Choice Belt, Melanie, attach, and one hit KO Mew VMAXs with Max Lance or other Ice Riders. And speaking of Melanie, that is our only supporter in the deck is four melanie attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your pokemon v if you do draw three cards and that's it four melanie that's the only supporter we play in this deck i think there could be room in here to play maybe like a one of marnie and maybe a one of raihan i don't play any gust effects no boss i do think maybe two cross switcher could find their way into this list as well to have some kind of more aggressive gust effect bosses orders is pretty awkward to set up with ice rider consistently so not a huge fan of bosses orders but i could definitely see playing cross switchers and i've seen a ton of other ice riders lists and i can already see you guys typing in the comments right now where's the frost last where's the palkia v it's all just so clunky i just want to go fast and be consistent and then when i made the list like this it just started working i think i'm currently on like a 10 game win streak on the ptc geo ladder which i know it's the ptc geo ladder but still it just started working when i was just like what if i just one hit ko their active as consistently as possible and that's where this list came from 
it worked out way better than I thought it would. So I wanted to share with you guys here on the YouTube channel. If you want to catch some more games with this deck that I played, I'll be posting those over on the secondary YouTube channel, Azul GG Gameplay. Link in the description for that as well. So go subscribe over there. Ton of gameplay content going up over there um, every single day, every other day, whatever. Uh, but let's go ahead and listen to a game and I'll show you guys how this build of the Ice Rider works out. Gather the crew. I wish there was a way to Cheryl and Melanie in the same turn. So annoying that you can't do that. Where's my Surge at? For one Avery, broken. They're wishing I was playing Gigas. Oh no, we're toast. No, yeah, basculine attacking going first is definitely too good. Made me. I didn't check my prize cards, but there's one prize every time. Let's go. Let's go. We finally have an Ice Rider prize, bro. I am so happy. Literally, all the only thing I've ever wanted is to literally have a freaking Ice Rider prized. Broken. Yo, appreciate the 9 on 3 sub there, Andre. Carol to pocket seems busted. Yeah, it's just too hard to set up, I think. And it's like, you have to deal with too, being too fast too often with this deck. Oh my gosh. And they don't have the boss KO on my Ice Rider V. Oh my goodness. Oh, they had a broken turn one too. I didn't even realize they got like a Trinity charge turn one off. What the heck? Why do they have the nuts like that? Not my squad. That's right. That guy sucks anyways. I don't even like him very much, to be honest. Oh my, we just win. Oh no, no, no. I thought they were attacking. I was like, that's it. That's game. I didn't realize they could still use their star birth ability. We still win though. We still win though. All okay, seems favored into Ice Rider. It just depends on how much they have to bench on average, right? If they have to just bench too much on average that you can get the one in Chaos on Palkia, then Palkia is definitely favored. Also, like, yeah, like the you can do the whole Greninja tricks, so they have to put down Manaphy to protect their Sobbles. That's another bench Pokemon. They just keep stacking up and stacking up. I played zero of the games of the matchup, so I don't really have an opinion, but you appreciate the raid there, Gaia Storm. If you don't like Lechonk, then I actually don't know what a Lechonk is. It's a new rat Pokemon, right? Oh no, isn't it the pig? Is it the pig Pokemon? It's not a rat Pokemon. It's a rat. We'll call it a rat. Lechonk. Piglet. <laughs> Lechonk. So I'm assuming there's nothing that can KO me in their deck, so I'm not gonna bench another Ice Rider this turn. Go evolve. Attach, attach, net. We do, we do a little bit of drizzy chaining. Drizzy trolling. Um, I don't know what gives me good. I just like a scoop up. And that sounds good to me, to be honest. Tru it's a truffle pig. I wonder if this deck is good enough just based on its consistency to actually be a good deck or if I'm just kind of like it's just a bad deck this whole time and I'm just like but I am just kind of bodying people with it so who knows 
If only Oracorio didn't exist, I would actually be I'd be so much more confident in this deck. I'd be so confident in this deck if only what's it called didn't exist, but it does. It's starting to take shape into a pretty good thing. Maybe. It could also just be trash. Okay, Frost Moss Cheryl. No. <laughs> Maybe I'll just roll up into Milwaukee Regionals, taking the L to what's it called, and hope that that's nice. I don't even know if this beats Palkia, to be honest. Also, this also loses to Regigigas, I think. Dino plus Quickstream can okay, and we will. Well, yeah, we do have that play, but like that's not the easiest thing to set up. <clears throat> I I play that, but it's not that simple. <laughs> it's like literally, it's definitely just not that simple. I, I think this does lose to Reggie, though. I think you get washed by Reggie. We get absolutely slammed. We do play two Sinnohs, though. We can Sinnoh and pray. I hope they can't find their stadium while we, like, destroy their board. Sinnoh and pray. Rare herbs and berries. So it is, it is, a, it is a truffle pig, but it doesn't get truffles. Uh, that's a low tier pig, bro. It doesn't even get the truffles. What the heck? Low tier pig, to be honest. Literally trash pig. Garbage. Garbage mon. Oh, they're going to the aqua bullet next turn. That's kind of rude. This is where I'd maybe want, like, to actually play a gust effect. <laughs> this is, like, where I'd maybe want an actual gust effect. But we maybe still win anyways, to be honest. I don't know. I have net in hand. Prepping a choice belt when they probably don't play scrapper sounds pretty good. And I want to set up quick shooting as well. Ideally, I'd like to use the ultra ball though, because the ultra ball is like so awkward to use throughout games. Melanie there. Chillin. Bench. Attach. Net reset. I'm actually just going to get, is there a dead trainer card in here? I can Ultra Ball with the Manaphy and the Ultra Ball. I don't want to put Sinnoh in play here. Putting Sinnoh in play doesn't do anything. I could go like... Okay, so we can do this. Play it. Actually, I should have grabbed a level ball though. I should have got a Quick Ball, right? Yeah. Although the Quick Ball is still good, actually. Grab Basculin. Ultra Ball. Away those two. Grab Halooch. Ultra Ball away. Halooch. And this bucket, to be honest, isn't very good anymore. Grab the quick shooting. We just want to play around Roxanne heavily. I'm like having Ultra Balls in the deck if I play the Melanie isn't terrible. It's also just like not great. So um, I don't know. So now they're going to ship the Inteleon on me, and then, I don't know, we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, this would like two cross switchers would be good, right? Then we just like a double cross switcher KO this. Or actually even just a boss here would work as well, right? So cross switchers or boss here, I guess, would work. But like if I wasn't able to get this energy in play ahead of time, like the way I was, then it would have to be... Um, Wait, is that my third bucket? No, it's my second. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I had one left. But then it would have to be um, cross switcher. So that's why I kind of like the idea of cross switcher a little bit more. But I, I don't want to cut any of my cards. All my cards are consistency cards. These are all good cards. These are some of my favorite cards. Oh, they're not. <laughs> okay, I guess we just win. I mean, I guess they could. No, they're going to Raihan to their active now. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, all right, I guess we just win. But that means they're Raihaning and not. Okay, I think we still just win here then. Yo, appreciate that gives us up there, Corey, over to Bobo0223. Welcome to the pack. We're all out of pretzels, but we have plenty of 
tools. Okay, yes, they're right hunting here. Do I have a net left? I don't think I do. I don't actually have to play my last Melanie right now, to be honest. I don't think I will. Am I afraid of Path to the Peak here? I'm not really afraid of Path to the Peak. Dog. Shane. Angelo's company. Yo, appreciate the 23 month reset there, Monkey Fuzzle. 23, two numbers higher than that that hit Taylor Swift song. No, it's one number higher. Hey. Do I have anything in here to get even? I don't think so, right? Just burned it for nothing. Beautiful. So I could Melanie now, which would mean I only need a basic water next turn. But then if I Melanie now, I have no outs to shady dealings or less outs to shady dealings. They could have a big charm for that, right? Yeah. I think I just max lance this and hold the hand. I should have played the Temple of Sinnoh, actually. I should have played the Temple of Sinnoh. That was a troll. I actually did not play the Temple of Sinnoh. You can play a Raihan and two. Well, no, obviously I can play it. Like all those things I can play, obviously. It's just if I want to play them. One of Raihan could be actually good. I don't know if one of Raihan's better than a Melanie, but we could play four Melanie and a Raihan. I wouldn't even need a what's it called to pull it off as well. Um. All right, so now we're gonna get rock sand, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy today. I should have played the Sinnoh though, to be honest. I should have played Tello Sinnoh there. One of Ryan would let us use this guy as well if we ever want an Aqua Bullet, but I don't think it's coming up very often where we want an Aqua Bullet. I also have been like getting really close to running out of Melanie's, to be honest. Like I've been getting really close to running out of Melanie in like a couple games. So maybe like a one of Raihan would be good to have. <sighs> yeah, maybe a one of Raihan would be good to have. And that's gonna do it for the ice ride. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. And then if you guys want to see some more gameplay action with this deck, go check out the secondary YouTube channel, Azul GG Gameplay, where I've got some games posted from the stream over there. And of course, be sure to go check out the live stream, twitch.tv slash Azul GG. First thing on the stream, give it a click, give it a follow, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.